Okay, what we have here is a pulley problem, and we want to find out what the acceleration of the system is and what the tension in the rope is. So in order to do that, we have to draw a free body diagram of each. We've got to solve for what we can of the free body diagram, and then put the two equations we get together and solve for the acceleration. Once we have that, then we can plug in some numbers and solve for the tension. That part's going to be easy. First thing we need to decide is which way is this system going to move? And it just would make sense that this is going to go down and this is going to go up. So I'm going to assume it's going to be accelerating that way. So let's draw the free body diagram for the eight. Here's the eight kilograms. And you've looked at the, free, uh, the video on free body diagrams. And you know there are four or five questions you've got to ask. The first one is, is there gravity? Yes, there's gravity. And I'm going to put a little subscript here, eight, just to remind us that it's not the same force of gravity that's on this one. Is there gravity? Uh, is it sitting on a surface? No. Is there uh, friction? No, it's not rubbing up any surface, and this is a frictionless pulley, so there's no friction. Well, what else is acting on it? There's this tension here, force of tension. And the fifth question was always, is it accelerating and which way? It's accelerating, in this case, down. So the acceleration is down. So for this box, down is positive. That's not going to be the case for this one. So down is positive, uh, that means this must be bigger than that, and it looks drawn a little bit bigger than that, so we're pretty good. Let's draw the three kilogram. Go over here, three kilogram. Um, is there gravity? Yes, there's gravity. Force of gravity on the three, I put a little subscript there so we don't get these two confused and plug in the wrong number. Uh, is it sitting on a surface? No. Is there something pushing or pulling at it? But there is the tension up. There's tension up. And is it accelerating and which way? It's accelerating up. So for this box, this one here, up is positive. For this one, down is positive. And I should probably correct my diagram, make this look a little bit longer, because we like to indicate that this is bigger than this and it's accelerating up. So let's find the equation that governs each of these. Well, in this one, it's going to be positive Fg on the 8 minus the force of tension equals ma. In the direction of acceleration, this is positive and this is negative. Positive and negative. Well, let's plug in a number here. This is going to be mg, which is 8 times 9.8 minus the tension equals, and I can plug a number in there, 8a. So 8 times uh, 9.8. Sorry about that. I had to do a quick calculation here. So we got 78.4 minus Ft equals 8A. So this is the equation that governs the motion of this box. Now I need to find the equivalent equation that governs the motion of this box. So I go over here and I say, well in this case, up is positive. So it's going to be Ft minus Fg on the 3 kilogram box equals Ma. See on this box, down is positive, so it was Fg minus Ft. In this case, up is positive, so it's Ft minus Fg. So I do that, and I get Ft minus Fg3, which is 3 times 9.8 equals, and this number here I can plug in 2, 3a. So I get Ft minus 29.4 equals 3a. This is the equation that governs this box. So what I can do is I can take the two equations, put them together, and solve for the acceleration. So I'm going to bring this box down over to here and line up the two equations. But when I do that, I'm going to take the negative 29.4, move it over here, and put the Ft over here. So basically I'm lining up the tension. So it's going to be negative 29.4 plus Ft equals 3a. I haven't changed the signs on anything. This is still negative, this is still positive, negative and positive. But see, now I've got my two equations lined up. If I add them together, this is going to be 11a. And look, the tensions are going to drop out. Negative Ft, positive Ft, I got 0. I take 78 minus 29.4, and that's going to be uh, 49. 49 equals 11a. So the a is 49 divided by 11 is going to be 4.45 meters per second squared. I now have the acceleration. Okay. Now what I want to do is find the tension. 
To find the tension, I can solve for using this formula, because I have the acceleration, or this formula. So I'm going to use this one over here. The tension minus 29.4 equals 3 times the acceleration, which was 4.45. And so the tension is equal to 42.8 newtons. And that's it.